all right so i have the seat out because i want to start taking care of some of the surface rust and just cleaning a bunch of things here so yeah really important just to start taking care of this rust and i already started taking care of the rust right here because there was actually quite a bit and i'm currently soaking it in rust dissolver it's just like surface rust mainly and that's it so i still want to you know take care of all that uh excuse the mess but there's a uh, more a rust uh, work I was doing here just uh, cleaning everything with the, the wire wheel right here so it's really awesome and yeah today I'm gonna finish this side up and uh, paint it preserve it with grease all right guys so I start wire wheeling this once again and it's almost ready to be primed and painted and uh, also peel this carpet carefully from the glue and taped it like this it's out of the way so I can take care of this area it's really important these inner rockers right here and then right here i'm taking care of a bunch of this rust so as you guys know i don't know if you met, i mentioned or not but the only problematic areas that i have are these on this side on the other side yep so i'm gonna have to take care of that and then i'm gonna take care of this area and then yeah so this one i'm gonna have to do some welding we'll see i don't have time right now but I mainly just want to take care of the rest of this area so I can actually reinstall the seat. All the seat mounts are amazing. Yeah, I'm just gonna take care of all the rust, preserve it, paint it. And then I'm gonna get to this area eventually and take care of that as well. And then I also checked a bunch of areas underneath of the sound ending. Uh, the area is actually good. Uh, there was some rust right here starting, so I cleaned it all up. But the rest of the sound ending is all pretty good and there's no rust underneath of it so that's really really good okay so i have to peel off some of this sound deadening right here is there was some rust like growing underneath of it so but as you can see later after this there's there's good clean metal so just uh eliminating the you know having to remove the entire sound deadening here yeah so just uh but still taking care of all the rust removing all the rust and i'm gonna treat it after and there's some more right here that i gotta take care of as you can see but it's okay once we do this job guys uh we will be able to you know preserve everything with grease and fluid film and this area will never ever rust out again uh so very important thing to do on these amazing old school machines is to preserve the floors preserve everything so that's what we're doing to this W115 right now. All right, so I peeled some more. The sound ending, there's more rust, so I'm gonna be taking care of that. Okay, so put primer right here. I'm gonna put two more coats after that, and then um, I've got this paint, you know. it uh, It's brown, but you know, it will match somehow, a little bit, somewhat, uh, this car. So it's fine or whatever, but because uh, I don't really care much um, since I'm putting grease and fluid film after the brown paint is on. So yeah, it's gonna be all this uh, stuff that's, you know, we'll make sure that it's all preserved. Yep, and I'm currently having this one, uh, this area soaking in the rest of the And cleaning this area a lot it's almost ready for paint and then discovered more rust right here so I have to take care of that and then more rust right here like next to the sound deadening so I'm just peeling whatever uh, sound, deadening, sound deadening I need to peel because there's some rust underneath so I need to fix that and stop it Alright guys, so I finally finished prepping this area for paint and preservation. There's a lot of wire wheeling I had to do on this mount and this mount. Okay, that it's, but it's, you know, done. Then I had to lift this uh, vent out. And there was some more rust right there, so I had to wire wheel that too. So that's done, ready for paint. 
So yeah, it's really, really important. And like I said, on this side, same kind of thing like on the other side, which you'll see later on in the future. And I have a hole here, yeah. So I'm gonna have to take care of that. It's okay, that's gonna happen. Right now, I really, really want to finish up preserve, preserving these floors so I never have to worry about rust. Okay guys, so this is still drying. I applied about four coats or three coats of paint. And then once this paint is dry, I'm gonna put grease all over the place and I'm gonna put the fluid film. Also, the inside of this is a used automatic trans fluid, which I'm gonna use for uh, basically inside of this channel, there's another, like this, this entire rail is spot welded to the floor you can't get to that side from underneath or anything so i'm gonna pour oil through there that way oil can get in there saturate everything and kind of keep everything preserved like that that's what i'm gonna use this oil for also if you want to go crazy after you grease everything up you can actually pour oil everywhere here you know and then you're gonna put floor mats on it's gonna be fine it's not gonna cause any damage to the floor mats it will be okay we'll just preserve your floor the more oil you have on the floor in grease the less it will rust or actually will not rust at all so that's why i'm doing all this procedure i'm already done with that and then final thing is going to be the rear of the floor which is okay i'm just right now i'm just focusing on you know being able to install the seat back on all right guys so here it is it's all preserved with grease in the places where it needs to be uh, so if your sound ending is completely off then obviously put the uh, the grease everywhere but since there's still sound deadening here it's like there's no point putting grease on sound deadening but yeah everything is good here in this area the seat is basically ready to be installed i'm just gonna pour this atf in here so it's gonna flow all the way here to preserve that area yeah so really excited to put this car back together on this side Some of it is gonna spill out this way, so just have a rag. But some of it is gonna flow right here. All right, so oil started coming out from this side, and that's really good. I mainly wanted to like soak the area right here. So I'm trying to take care of the seat a little before installation, just clean it up. But the thing is that the previous owners put a bunch of like duct tape and it has residue right here and I really don't like it. And he had been taking out all this shot horse hair out of it too, unfortunately. But I just want to make the seat look a little better before I install it, you know. So, you know, regular cleaners don't really work that well, but the engine degreaser right here kind of works pretty good i would say so i've been working with that i'm gonna try to get as much of it off as possible i've got new flex disc that dylan ordered we'll be installing that at some point soon i've got diff fluid and trans oil as well. Amazing machine. Just gonna let it drain. Actually, the fluid that came out of it, it wasn't that bad. It was pretty clean, but we're still changing it. Okay, so yeah, that goes into the fill plug. Okay, now we're pumping. Okay, 
Okay. So the new fluid is leaking out. He's installing the fill plug now. It's easy and quick trans oil change if you have a manual trans. Fresh clean fluid. So I'm a little sad about this panel. It was sagging, so I decided to glue it together. And it was all looking good at first. And then, I don't know, it was, I guess, some kind of chemical reaction that happened. I'm not sure. And it just started, like, all wrinkling up like that, like crazy. And it goes right here, so... <clears throat> yeah. I don't even know. I mean, maybe I'll try some heat gun. I don't know. It's just, I'm just really sad about it. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, guys, <clears throat> just quick progress doing this side right now, taking care of the floor rust. Uh, so, cleaned everything, all the rust off right here that it was. Also underneath right here, there was some rust right there, a little bit right there. And I'm about to start painting it. Uh, I'm gonna get, uh, I started cleaning that side. I'm gonna get to it a little bit later. Uh, but mainly I just want to do this area so I can install the seat back. As you remember, I did that side a while back, everything there. Uh, I just uh, touched up some spots right there. I'm about to paint it and put grease on those spots and fluid film. And yeah, I'm going to make sure this thing is going to be amazing forever. Started painting everything here. And then on the paint, I'll add more coats, but once the paint is dry, I'll put uh, grease here and fluid film. And uh, I'm gonna pour oil here so it can flow all the way through there because I can't get to underneath of this rail. Yeah, make sure that gets preserved as well. And then we're gonna put carpets in and the seat back. Okay, so we're gonna take some oil. Uh, I don't have used oil right now at the moment, so I'm just using this oil and then I'm gonna pour a little more on some drains it's gonna eventually come out this way okay guys so here's the seat and as you can see the armrest is on this passenger seat which on I know on 123s and other cars it's actually on the driver's side so I don't know if it's normal or not but uh, I think it's normal for W115s to have it on this side However, what I did with this seat is I cleaned it up. I kind of lubricated all the tracks, cleaned it up. There was a bunch of like residue right here from the duct tape and everything. So I did that and I cleaned up the tracks and actually put lube in there and also put lube uh, in inside of those mechanisms for like reclining. So right now I can easily recline the seat it's pretty insane how easy it is to recline it and move it now it used to be super hard to do that so and other than that it's ready to go back in the car let's quickly take a look at this i'm already done with this okay everything is greased up put that carpet there it's all greased up just i put oil in there so i'm waiting for this oil to flow it out of this area um, and then everything here is good to go also and I'm about to start wrapping everything up and, uh, yeah I'm super happy to do all this this is a really important evolution to do on these amazing machines to make sure that this will never ever rust out also got these uh, center mats cleaned up they're gonna go right over here we're gonna just set them down like so they're gonna be just fine they go right here nice I'm gonna clean this a little bit before installing the seat
I also ended up uh, cleaning this floor mat a little and then uh, glued this uh, foam piece back. And then I'm gonna have this other mat on top of it.